Welcome to the CAT Office Training Guide Series for F. Civil 3D. Hello, my name is Mike Rocca and I'm a CAT Application Support Specialist with the Florida Department of Transportation. Today I will be going through the F. Civil 3D Drainage Training Guide. In this series of videos, I will take you step by step through each exercise from the guide. Today we will start with Chapter 8, Editing a Pipe Network. Let's, get, let's begin. Review and revision cycles are a normal part of any project in this chapter. We have a list of common of comments from our drainage engineer requesting changes to your drawing. You will respond to those comments by making changes to your design. In this chapter, you will edit pipe network parts in plan view by adding and deleting structures and pipes. You will also delete alignments that are no longer needed. In this chapter, we will learn about pipe network editing tools, deleting structures and pipes, adding structures and pipes, deleting and editing alignments. Run the chapter 8.exe file and restore all files to the C Civil 3D Projects folder. Do not change the location in which the practice files are installed. Doing so can cause errors when completing the exercises in this training manual. Exercise 8.2 Review Drainage Engineer's Comments after the design review, the drainage engineer wants to make some design changes. These are the design comments from the engineer. 1. Do not run parallel trunk lines. Keep each trunk line on one side of the road and eliminate the other. The second comment, shorten overall length of pipe runs. And the third comment, eliminate S14 and S15 and move S13 to the same station as S3. To start working on the comments, Start the F.Civil 3D State Kit and open up DRPRRD01 located in the Chapter 8 dataset in the Drainage folder. When the drawing file opens, rename the file to DRPRRD02 drawing. After the drawing is saved, associate the project to the drawing. Next, zoom and pan to display the area of the proposed drainage SR61 pipe network. Delete pipes. The next step will show you how to delete pipes connected to the structures from the proposed drainage SR61 pipe network. Note, turn on Selection Cycling to make sure that you are selecting pipes and not alignments. Step 1. Delete Pipes. Zoom and pan to the area of Structure S16. Select the 18-inch pipe between structure S16 and S15. With the selection cycling toggled on, in the selection dialog box, select pipe. Then press delete on the delete keyboard. Next, zoom and pan to the area of structure S15. Select the 18-inch pipe between S15 and S14. Again, when the selection dialog box comes up, make sure to select pipe and then press delete on the keyboard. Delete another pipe. Zoom and pan to the area of structure S4. Select the 18 inch pipe between structure S4 and S13. Delete that pipe. Next, zoom and pan to the area of structure S10. Select the 18 inch pipe between structure S8 and structure S9.
press delete. Next, zoom and pan to structure S11. Select the 18 inch pipe between structure S7 and S8. Press delete. Next, we're going to delete inlets. The next step will show you how to delete inlets structures from the proposed drainage SR61 pipe network. Delete the S15 inlet. Zoom and pan to the area of structure S15. Select structure S15 and then press the delete key. Next, delete structure S14. Zoom to the area of structure S14. Select structure S14, then press the delete key. The next steps will show you how to move structure S13 inlet from the proposed drainage SR, SR61 pipe network. So pan and zoom to the area of structure S13. Select structure S13. Select the blue grip in the middle of the structure. Type in apostrophe SO to start the transparent station offset command. The command line then prompts you to select the alignment. Select the SR61 alignment. The command line then prompts you to specify a station along the alignment. Type in zero Type in 70375. This is to move structure S13 inlet to station 703 plus 75. Press enter. The command line then prompts you to specify station offset. Type 44.8. The inlet S13 has been moved to station 703 plus 75. Save the DRPRRD02 drawing file. Exercise 8.3 Delete Alignments. The next step will show you how, under the Miscellaneous Alignments collection, to delete the proposed drainage SR61 alignments that have been created. With the review and comments from the drainage design engineer, there are enough changes to the design where it will be easier to delete the alignment and create new alignments again from the pipe network. Delete the S1 proposed drainage SR61 alignment. On the Prospector tab and Toolspace, Expand Alignments. Expand Miscellaneous Alignments. Right-click on SR61 proposed drainage SR61 and choose Select. Zoom and pan to the S1 proposed drainage SR61 alignment and then press Delete. Delete the S5 proposed drainage SR61 alignment. Again, on the Propose tab on your tool space, Select the S5 Proposed Drainage SR61 alignment by right-clicking on it and choosing Select. Press Delete. Delete the S9 Proposed Drainage SR61 alignment. Delete the S10 proposed drainage alignment and delete the S16 proposed drainage SR61 alignment. The next steps will show you how to review the miscellaneous alignment collection. From tool space on the Pros Prospector tab under alignments, under miscellaneous alignments, review all alignments. All the proposed SR61 alignments have been deleted. Save the file. Exercise 8.4, Move Pipes. The next step will show you how to 
Instead of deleting some pipes, reconnect them to different structures. Move pipes between S1 and S2 to S16. Zoom and pan to display structures S1, S2, and S16. Select pipes between structures S1 and S2. Select the square grip at S2. Hover over structure S16. When the glyph appears, click structure S16 to connect the pipe to structure S16. Press Escape to clear the grip. Review the results of pipe from structure S2 to S16. Reconnects pipes S16 between S13 and S16. You may find it difficult to select pipe S19 in the drawing editor, so find and select pipe S19 in the Prospector tab. From the tool space on the Prospector tab, select Pipe Networks. And then expand Networks. Expand Proposed Drainage, SR61. And then select Pipes. From the preview list at the bottom window of tool space, left click on Pipe 19. and then choose Select. Zoom and Pan to display Pipe 19. Select the square group on Pipe 19 that's not attached to the structure S13. Hover over structure S16. When the glyph appears, click on structure S16 to connect pipe S16 to structure S16. Review the results of moving the pipe and then press escape to clear the grips. Adding pipes. The next step will show you how to add pipes from structure S3 to S13. From the Modify tab on the Design panel, select Pipe Network. From the Select Pipe... Next, on the Modify panel, select Edit Pipe Network. From the Select Pipe Network dialog box, Select the proposed SR61 drainage pipe network and click OK. From the Network Layout Tools proposed drainage toolbar, select Pipes Only Command. Before laying your pipe, specify 18 inch SC culvert pipe. In the Network Layout Tools Proposed Drainage Toolbar, make sure that 18-inch SD pipe culvert is selected. From the drop-down list, choose Pipes Only. From the Network Layout Tools Toolbar, make sure that 18-inch SD pipe culvert is selected from the drop-down list. On the right, select Pipes Only. Hover your cursor over structure S3. When the glyph appears, left click. Next, hover your cursor over structure S13. When the glyph appears, left click to connect the pipe to that structure. Press Escape to end the command. Next, add pipe from S9 to S10. 
Again, from the Pipe Network Layout Tools, make sure the Pipes Only command is selected. Zoom in Panda Structure S9. Hover over Structure S9. When the glyph appears, click on Structure S9 to connect the pipe, the pipe to the structure. Hover your, hover your cursor over Structure S10. When the glyph appears, left-click to connect the pipe to Structure S10. Again, to end the command, press the Escape key. Add pipes from Structure S8 to Structure S11. Locate Structure S8. From the Network Layout Tools toolbar, select Pipes Only. Hover your cursor over Structure S8. When the glyph appears, left-click. Do the same thing for Structure S11. Left-click. To end the command, press Escape. Review the results of adding pipe to Structures S8 to S11. Close the Network Layout Tools by clicking on the X in the upper right-hand corner of the toolbar. Save and close the drawing.